What's up guys, and I do mean guys. I wanna talk about online dating for a minute here. Uh, you know, you guys go through the trouble, you go to the gym, you do your hair, hopefully you use deodorant, I don't know. But there's some critical things that you're leaving out. You know, you, uh, you take a girl out, you may get flowers, you may take her to a nice restaurant, but sometimes you might say some things that aren't exactly appropriate. Are you gonna sleep with me as my girlfriend? You look like my sister. And it just goes from you're so beautiful to you'd look even more beautiful if you were having sex with me, pretty much. You get people looking for side pieces where they're looking for something outside of the relationship. Online dating can be really tedious. The game has sort of changed these days with that instant gratification sort of hookup culture. Now, I can't give you the gift of gab, but I could certainly give you a few dating 101 tips to help you get to where you want to be. Under no circumstances should you say this. Can I hit it raw? Can I hit it? Can I hit it in the morning? Nor is this. Send me pictures of you naked. Also not good. I want to give you a child. So guys, are you still not convinced? Well, we did a little experiment to see how these gem of pickup lines did with women. Turns out it doesn't fly in the real world. Instead, maybe try asking questions about the woman, you know, hopes, dreams, goals. And as it turns out, that's actually some expert advice. Learn about the person. Um, discover the person. I tell people when you, when you start these relationships, don't exchange pictures. Because we all have this expectation that we look at the pictures. Let me see if they look good enough. Let me see if they're skinny enough. So what happens when uh, we don't behave ourselves, when we say things we really shouldn't say? One island resident actually came up with a solution for that with her Facebook page. We don't put up pictures on dating websites to get these salacious messages from men. We put them up because we have self-respect, we think that we're beautiful, and we want to show it to people. Sarah Cohen of Bullshead runs a Facebook page called Tinderella, a collection of literary doozies from women all over the country who have had obscene messages lobbed at them from overzealous guys. But I want women to see that they're not alone and that there is someone else out there that does receive these messages and that you can stand up and say something to these men. You can defend yourself. Oh, and one more thing, guys. Stop sending pictures of your junk. It's, it's kind of shocking when you don't know what they look like and that's the first thing that they send you is if you're able to like forensic file, like recognize them by their genitals. Somebody turns around and their first comment is, hey, I have a big one. You know, well, what's your self-value? Your self-value and your self-worth is your big one. Penises really aren't that attractive. A lot of guys uh, say, like talk a big game about uh, how large they are and then you know, you open it and you're kind of waiting for something more to load. I found, <laughs> so um, I don't, I don't get it. I guess maybe they just think it's gonna make us feel how seeing boobs makes them feel, but it really just is a turn off and we laugh and send them to our friends and laugh about them even more.